Good morning, welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 165. Today is Friday. Um, we have the regular labor crew is here. The ceiling installers are here the, doing the furring strips in the garage area. And our painters are here doing the, uh, continuing with the body filling on the fence grills. Um, so we're gonna walk you around, show you what all's going on today. Let's get started. Mr. Ben over here is making a new, uh, getting ready to make a new manhole. Uh, this, they're getting ready to chip it out and make a new cover on it. Uh, this is where we had the, we had to put in the connection for all of our downspouts uh, and they made a new uh, connection into the storm drain below. So instead of uh, just covering it back up, what they're gonna do, they made a, uh, a new manhole. They're gonna make a new cover for it. All right. Over here on the side, Mr. Willie, oh, Mr. Wilson is uh, starting to do the uh, skim coating for the exterior wall cladding. So we're gonna get started on that. Long, long process going to be because we have lots of wall cladding on this place. Um, inside the ceiling furring install installers, this is Mr. Alvin and Mr. Ariel, um, they are continuing to work the um, ceiling frames here at the top of the garage area. Over in the corner, Mr. Chucks is uh, still continuing to install our um, main panels, uh, just getting the, the panel boxes themselves installed, leveled, uh, getting everything just right before they start putting actual wires and circuits and the sort. Coming in on the inside, Mr. Alex is continuing to build um, parts and pieces for all the cabinetry. Uh, so they're starting to put that all together. And then we have a couple guys that are upstairs in the media room and they are continuing to uh, chip away at the floor. So other than that, everybody else is uh, busily working. As uh, other people get in and other work takes happen, we will show you what's going on. Good morning, Miss Emmy. Always nice to see the foreman working. You come in. Everybody else is busy and gamefully employed. And the foreman's working. What he's working on is chipping out um, this little groove right here so that the sink will sit flush in the, in the inside. So they didn't have, the, uh, they didn't have the, the sink until after this was made. So they uh, want to make sure that it sits, it sits flush inside because these are under mounts. So when it's all done, he's got a little, almost there, almost there. Quante pa. All right, up here in the uh, media room, the tinsmiths have returned and we're working on the roof for the dormer window area. Okay, so. We've got the insulation, we've got the screen, which they've already got up in place and they're working on that now. And then we've got more of the metal up in here that they're going to cut to size and uh, start putting the attachments into place. All right, so we're gonna see this on uh, drone shot a little later on. Ten Smiths are back up and they're almost done with the uh, roof for the dormer window area. Looking good, looking good. Let's go see what everybody else is working on. All right, in the uh, garage area, the ceiling guys have uh, completed the initial uh, setup for the ceiling furring in the main garage. And they have also completed the utility room ceiling, the garage bath ceiling, and are now working on the garage bedroom, otherwise known as the maid's room.
the uh, engineer from um, DoorTech uh, came out to do a technical advisor, uh, technical advice on the installation. Uh, we want to make sure that we get this uh, going in just right. Like while we're putting this in, still they're uh, they're making sure that we've got all the measurements right, and that's what they're working on. So our engineer is meeting with DoorTech's engineer, and uh, we're seeing how all this goes. That's it. Up here on the front, our guy's got the flashing in for the front Sanepa. So this is going to go from the top of the edge here so that when they put the um, the piece of tin that's going to come down over the roof it won't drain onto the sanepa or the fascia board so it's going to stay there and fairly quickly we've got our sanepa flashing almost all the way across the front of the house. The next thing that'll happen is those, uh, the small pieces that they took off over there are gonna go back up on the bottom side of the, on the downhill side of the gutters and overlap this, the fascias. Our uh, storm drain culvert or sorry, our storm drain manhole is done with the exception of having the actual lid, which will be done in the next day or two. They may look at this tomorrow. So this is where our um, storm water comes in off of the, all the drains off of the downspouts come in here. Or at least these are for the ones off of the back side of the house here. Well, Mr. Uh, Wilson is continuing with the skim coat working his way around coming down the north wall all right we got the uh, roof ridges going on the uh, dormer window roofing that that uh, hip roof so by the end of day we should be able to start checking for leaks on the inside of the house yay so if we get rain, then we should be able to start checking for, for the leaks inside the house. So far, there haven't been any other than uh, the exposed metal that was left open here. Yabba dabba doo time. Very yes, we had a great Friday afternoon. Uh, the engineer was here. We had a representative from the uh, garage door folks that also are gonna be doing the um, sliding gate motor. Uh, the, the two engineers got together, figured out exactly what it is that needs to be done from here on out. Um, it's a, another meeting of the minds. I was present, not involved, but present. <laughs> um, was great to see the return of our tensemiths today. Um, they finished the dormer window on the back side of the house, the roofing over the top of that dormer window, and they also started the flashing for the Sanepa up here on the front. Um, so they're going to start working this all the way rest all the way around and then start putting that last uh, piece of roofing material over the top of the uh, gutter the the downhill side of the gutter so we'll have to come back and look at that tomorrow um, also tomorrow we have another thing interesting thing going on up in the media room you guys will have to tune back in and see what happens so we'll see you tomorrow morning if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Tex Pina Star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen and you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.